Yo, what up Street Talks there? Kim, all right, the thought. This is about, uh, you know, analysis or critique or uh, thoughts on male masculinity, depression, and stuff like that. So th these are just some basic thoughts. So the first thought is this. In modern society, the strange bias is if you're like an intellectual male or if you're a liberal from the Bay or whatever, you're almost not allowed to be masculine. You're not allowed to like eat meat, you know, you're not like to be loud. You're not allowed to, you know, even invoke the word masculinity or else other people can be like toxic masculinity. And so it's like whatever, right? And so as a consequence, what's the problem? You know, we're all kind of brainwashing and thinking, oh, you know, it's better to eat like a plant forward diet or, you know, don't eat red meat. Red meat's bad for you. Beef is bad for you, blah, blah. It's bad for the planet. Da, da, da. And, you know, in order to become more virtuous, you know, one must be less egotistical. One can't walk around without one's shirt off, whatever. Yeah, it's okay for you to, you know, buy, you know, a Tesla or aspire to buy a Lambo or you know play video games and talk shit on the internet whatever it may be so the problem is our society it kind of doesn't tolerate for men to be masculine you know we're not allowed to be loud uh, you're not allowed to you know kind of uh, you know stare you know whatever it may be and Yet the, the funny thing is, you know, everyone, of, of course, you know, look at anyone's Google Chrome incognito tabs, is looking at porn and stuff like that. Yet, you know, we kind of have like this strange society where, you know, in order to be virtuous, we got to be like kind of the gentleman kind of notion. And then, you know, like the new aesthetics, kind of like the BTS kind of like, you know, my homeboy says, you know, these guys need to get their testosterone up. And so even notions of testosterone and aggression are all kind of seen as bad. And it makes sense from a sociological perspective. You don't want a bunch of aggressive people well, kind of fucking up society. Yet, I don't know, I still think it's important that, um, you know, one should not be shameful of what one is. And actually, whether you're male, female, or whatever you consider yourself, um, to essentially just like do you and pursue whatever virtuosity you consider or you deem great. So I was, I was kind of uh, poking around the internet and um, there's this, uh, this writer and yeah, it seems pretty good. His name is Daniel Kunitz. He wrote a book called Lift. He wrote another book, which I kind of read, uh, I skimmed a little bit, of, but then it kind of got me down a rabbit hole talking about this notion of arete, A-R-E-T-E, -E, which essentially means like moral greatness. It was like an ancient Greek uh, notion. So I'm starting to like think to myself, rather than thinking about modern notions of you know, greatness and moral excellence, maybe it's better for us to look at the ancient Greeks. So even I look at a lot of like ancient Greek statues and consider the apex physique of a ancient Greek statue versus a lot of the strange things of modern day life. So for example, even bodybuilders, you know, they're all jacked on like testosterone and gear and juice or whatever you want to call it. And so therefore they're their, their body compositions or proportions are totally out of whack in a kind of a weird way. Uh, probably the best proportional physique is probably like Arnold. Um, but you know, he's, he's probably taking some juice and test and other weird stuff anyways. So, but you know, the, the reason why it's good for us to look at ancient Greek statues is that, you know, here were these dudes eating 20 pounds of meat like Milo of Croton, right? Um, you know, apparently the high tale is every single day he ate 20 pounds of oxen beef steak, uh, 20 pounds of bread, and five gallons of wine a day, right? So obviously a high tale. But I just, find, I just kind of find it fun and interesting because 
Um, this is obviously before, you know, PC culture. And so like my personal goal is, yo, I want to eat like 10 to 20 pounds of meat a day. And that's actually what I'm kind of striving for where I'm lifting weights like a motherfucker. I'm walking around as much as I can, get as much sunlight, tan my, you know, super, super pale ass Korean body. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just kind of curious, like, how buff can I become? And you know, people say genetics. I don't believe in genetics. It's like, you know, you know, I have relatively small wrists and hands, and that's not a not a big deal. I don't let it kind of talk me down. And I think a lot of uh, the marketing, especially towards insecure men, is quite quite pernicious. It's quite like bad in the sense that. You know, the reason why we're kind of suckered in buying protein powder and creatine and pre-workout shakes and all these weird energy substances is that you're kind of, it's kind of, it's all fear marketing, right? Like you're afraid that you're not going to be able to maximize your potential. And so it's just my personal imperative. I'm like, yo, last five years, you know, I've never taken steroids, human growth hormone gear or whatever you want to call it. Um, haven't taken protein powder creatine, pro supplements, whatever you call it. Just good old industrial meat, steak, beef, chicken, pork, whatever is cheap. Uh, I think that cholesterol is a steroid, so I try to eat as much cholesterol and saturated fat as humanly possible. And the fact is I've been getting all the gains. Now, you know, people are like, oh, you're gonna die early. I'm like, I don't know, maybe I will, but I feel great <laughs> and I'm saving a lot of money and I don't buy no stupid protein powder or none, none of that bullshit. And so, and also I've been, I've been doing intermittent fasting, I don't eat breakfast or lunch. Earliest I'll break my fast around 3, uh, 4 or 5 o'clock. But actually if I have an option, I'll try to break my fast well, when the sun goes down, whatever. And so yeah, like let us strive towards moral, virtue maximal masculinity let us strive towards the apex male masculinity obviously that's up to you but for me it's augmenting your muscle mass like your skeletal muscle mass is uh minimizing your adipose tissue like your fat tissue uh so i think the secret easiest secret is you know i don't drink alcohol i don't smoke weed i don't do no drugs the only drugs i take is drink a lot of black coffee drink a lot of water um, eat a lot of meat to break my fast. And that's that's pretty much it. So, uh, lifting weights is for me. It's fun. It's never a chore. I do it to uh, to got, get myself kind of hyped up. And so, keep experimenting for yourself. Know that there's no ultimate reality to anything that you do. Kind of have fun with it. Keep lifting. Go to the park. Do calisthenics, do bodybuilding, style workouts, do powerlifting, everything, and strive to become the apex and maximal you.